hello wordpress nerds so in this video we are going to talk about basic authentication for rest api so if you are new to this video i would suggest to watch my rest api playlist first and then come back on this video otherwise if you know what you are doing then just keep watching this video so in one of my previous videos I showed you the REST API authentication using JWT token and in this video we are going to use basic authentication so what is basic authentication so this is the method in which we send username and password to each uh, REST API request so that uh, REST API knows the API is performed by particular user why we need authentication so for example uh, let's say let's consider this site and uh, if you want to add a new post so you cannot add any post without uh, login to the site and it should be an administrator login or any user's login who has permission to add post without login it is not possible to add post to the to the site so similarly via api uh, api needs to know that this api is performed by some user so that is possible via authentication so authentication is the process to identify a user if it doesn't identify any user uh, it will abort the api execution so let's take an example of post rest api by which uh, we will create a post so let's use create post rest api for this site this is my local site so i'm gonna use this um sorry first uh, let me show you the create post api wp json and uh, this we have to give something so for example we have to pass title so title of the post let's say Mahabharata then content this is Mahabharata and uh, let's pass status publish publish and now let's directly perform this API and let's see what happens so it says sorry you are not allowed to create post as this user because this api doesn't recognize uh, a user performing the api so for that we have to use a basic authentication so for that let's go to authorization section click the basic auth and let's add the username password for the for this particular site so I'm gonna add okay I already added my username and password and now let's try to send this request so still it says uh, you are not allowed to create post as this user because we have to provide some bridge between API and this basic auth WordPress by default doesn't provide that so in order to do that we have to use a plugin 
so let me show you that plugin so the plugin is given on the wordpress doc and here is the plugin basic authentication plugin so let's click on that it's a bit old plugin but still works so we can use that so let's download this plugin and now I'm gonna add the plugin install it and activate Once you install and activate, there is nothing else you need to do. Again, just get back to the screen and add username password and uh, try to run the API again. And now we are able to perform the API and our post has been added. Let's try to confirm so let's go to the posts and as you can see our post has been added using the author by which we added this username and password let's try to add one more post so that can we can confirm so let's add Ramayana by API and send it so again uh, our post has been added let's refresh this So as you can see our post has been added so this is how a basic authentication we can use if you have any doubt or question please write down below in the comment section thanks for watching the video guys